Hey everybody, it's me Elena and as you can see <clears throat> here is a uh, reality by let me just turn out turn off all the lights besides the one from the ceiling. This would be me as you can see here can I move this tripod? I'm so sorry. That's me. This giant eye bags, pimples all over, redness around the nose, hormonal, you name it. This is me on a trail. Now let's begin the transformation into tricking people you're looking great and feeling great. First off, for YouTube land. And then I'll show you the results with and without the light. Whoops, hello! Instant magic, right? That's a ring light and a yellow light, so it brings more like sunlight effect. First thing you want to do, I already did, is apply a shit ton of heavy duty moisturizer into your face just so it comes back to life a little bit, also chapstick and whatnot. You can use primer, it's up to you. Next thing you gotta do is use a foolproof foundation, one that never lets you down. But before that, just today, I'm gonna use concealer instead of using it afterwards. And I'll use a peach concealer, whichever you have, whichever you have at hand. I'm not talking brands and cure, I just grab what I'm currently using and whatnot. Um, this is the Erase Paste from Benefit in Color number two because, wow, I never been that tan before, so kudos to me. Uh, I have this coloration like purple, eye bags, this is flippin' terrible. So let's begin bringing this face back to life. Now instantly, <laughs> do you see this eye and it's roughly uh, applied in here? Do you see this eye? I'm awakening the eye. Hello, good morning, I'm feeling 100% better, can you see? Now. I'll take this full pro foundation, whichever foundation you have that it never lets you down, that's the one that you need in cases like that. Let's just apply a little bit of uh, natural concealer beforehand, actually. Just a tiny, tiny bit on the more troublesome areas. Next up, for me, this is gonna be Fit Me 120 Matte and Poreless. Yes, the packaging is different in Europe, but it's the same thing. On top of having iron deficiency and this thing, how's it called? How about to sneeze? I also have a cold, you know, because I went to France and I've come from Spain and it was cold for me. It wasn't cold, but it was cold for someone who comes from a really warm, warm weather. Real techniques. And now let's start uh, setting the foundation into place, you know? bouncing the sponge and you can do this for however long you feel like see this foundation this fit me foundation matte and poreless combined with a beauty sponge with a dampened one it gives this beautiful natural glow so now i'm going to take this ellie girl concealer this is color natural if anyone's interested and Damn, I've never been this tan before. And now I tilt my head and I just apply it on the rims, you know, of the eye bag, because that's what I want to highlight. I kid you not when I say I've never been this tan ever before in my entire life. It's almost like I look myself in the viewfinder and it's like, this is not me. Now, I will apply a little bit of primer to my eyelids just so everything stays in place. Set the under eye area no matter what because this, the concealer, whatever, it reflects the light a lot. It's good if you don't have eye bags, if you just have dark circles, but if you have eye bags and you don't conceal them, you don't mattify them, it's gonna reflect the light on the eye bag. Now let me just show you. I'll mattify one, not bake, just set in place, a light dusting of powder. See, this eye is instantly lifted because it's not reflecting the eye back. You know, sometimes you don't want to be explaining what's been going on with your life, so 
is just use makeup and the power of makeup, right? Next up, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with this pomade from NYX. This is in the color brunette. And you know the drill, you don't need to see that, so I'll skip this. Now I'll take, you could take any highlighter, cream highlighter that you have, or matte highlighter though, like uh, this was good as well, NYX Milk one. Today I'm gonna use Benefit Highbrow, as you can see it's in the really old packaging. And I will apply just on the arch of the brow bone area just to lift and awaken the eyebrow. And a little story time in between. I wasn't a person who used ma makeup. I just used it on special, special events and occasions and whatnot. But after, you know, having anxiety, depression, and my back surgery, I got fed up with people telling me that I wasn't looking good. So then I started concealing the flaws and hence it began my love for makeup. Why am I blurry? Now we'll take this taupe shade in here. Now we'll apply it on the crease, just something very light. Not on the crease, but on the socket of my eye, just to lift the crease a little bit. And as you can see, I'm using all matte eyeshadows because I don't want no reflection, you know, that uh, calls attention to my eyes that are tired. I'll take this color in here, this vanilla -y color, tap off the excess and apply it on the mobile lid. Eyeshadow is down. Now, I want to lift the eye as humanly possible, as much as possible. So, what I'm doing next is just clean out the corners a little bit this vanilla shading here just lift the eye some more and we'll leave the, the bottom lash line alone just for today we don't want to be calling atten attention to it dragging it down by no means so all I'm gonna do in the lower lash line is take this um, Essence one in the color Silky Nude, a nude uh, liner, eyeliner, and apply it on the waterline. Now, with a with our pinky finger, we'll take a little bit of this almost white, but it's an off white shade, and we'll apply it on the tear dot area just to awaken it a tiny bit more. Next up, I will take uh, this physician's formula. Can I? S pick today eye booster eyeliner and I will create a wing line on the upper lash line but not all the way through if possible just to lift the eye you know the idea is lifting the eye all day long you know just to awaken it as you can see I brought it three quarters of the way in and there's just that and now we'll <laughs> add a couple layers good solid couple yet layers of mascara I'm using the I don't know, this is a masterpiece transform from Max Factor. I know it has an equivalent name from CoverGirl, but now I cannot recall it, but yeah. Mascara, heavy coats on the upper lashes, don't touch the lower lash line today. Now let's get to the rest of the face. As you can see, I have lifted the eyelashes as humanly possible with mascara. I'm gonna take a bronzer, Benefit Hula. Fun story is I couldn't use this for years, you know, because I never got tan enough to be able to use hula, but this year I can, so I'm using the heck out of this. There you have it. Always upwards, you know, when you're applying bronzer. You don't want to be dragging down no feature, especially when you're not feeling well. Now let's even out the color here. You don't want to create a five o'clock shadow, so you have a to be watchful not to apply it in here but in here. Next up we'll take a really pink concealer in this case is Benefit Bella Bamba. She's looking so flushed and healthy, right? Yeah, you wish. Power of makeup. Next up highlighter. I'm using Benefit High Beam, whichever highlighter you have. Just make sure it's cool toned. Because this is a um, classic look, mind you. You can use it for whenever. It's good for many occasions and it makes you look extra good. So, 
we have highlighted the cheekbones, as you can see. Now it's, lo it's looking really exaggerated, right? So now we take powder, setting powder. I'm using True Match from L'Oreal and a powder brush and I'll start buffing it all together. Now you can take any setting spray that you have or tonic water like, like this tea tree, tea tree water from uh, Lush that I have or you could use just plain old water, it doesn't matter, just, just to set all the things in place, you know. We don't want to be attracting uh, attention to the eyes even though we have lifted them and whatever, so what we're gonna do is attract the attention to the teeth, uh, the lips, not the teeth, <laughs> the lips, sorry. So for this today I'm gonna go with a reddish lipstick and this is NYX Monte Carlo, it's this almost fuchsia but it's a red still, it's a cherry color, real beautiful one and I will go ahead and fill in my lips and I will be back. Now you could add liner if you wanted to but I'll leave it at that today, just make sure that if you're using any kind of red onto your lips or whatnot, use a cool tone one, one that has a blue undertone so your teeth look whiter so it makes you look healthier altogether and there's that here's the final look as you can see let me take this ring light off for a second this would make me in natural daylight it's good you know for what we began to what we got but of course if I get this continuous continuous sorry ring light in front of me uh, it disappears it fades away the the eye bags they fade away and I wish they look this good in real life but as you can see this is a classic look that is gonna look really put together everyone is gonna compliment on you tell you you're looking beautiful and nobody's gonna know that you're not feeling well you know that you're feeling like shit instantly you know when I see my face on the mirror I feel better you know because I don't see my wasted face or whatever you know I'm, see I'm not seeing myself like I don't feel better you know I see myself and I and then think Damn, I'm looking good. I know it's makeup, but you know, makeup, it's for this kind of situations as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a good thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the link, subscribe button down below and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.